All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Um, trying to keep a good streak of uploads going like weekly because I've been slacking really, really hard lately due to a bunch of things, but uh, I'm trying to get back on top of YouTube. So here we go. In today's video, we will be looking over some motive bowling accessories. Um, so I got like a bag of stuff here that I received. Super awesome of them, thank you guys. And uh, we're gonna get into it, kind of break it down, see what each thing does, and what I use each thing for. So, let's get into it. Starting off with, wow. Starting off with some of the smaller items, and we're gonna work our way up. Uh, first off, we've got flex tape. Wow, that didn't work. First we got flex tape. Now, this stuff is pretty neat. Big fan of thumb tape because it helps protect, and it can help your release as this says. So this is the fast release, the black and orange, like the black base and then orange foreground and then the slow release. I'm more of a slow release guy, but I think I might try the fast release just to see if it makes any difference and, if, and what difference it makes, just to give it a shot. Uh, the thing about this tape that I like that separates this stuff from pretty much like anything else is the, the adhesive they use. This stuff is actually made by Genesis and Genesis is my all-time favorite tape company ever um, because their adhesive is so strong. Most bowlers complain about their like tape coming off and I never have this problem with their stuff. Literally, like, it's hard to take off almost. Um, it's super good. It, their stuff is crazy strong. So I highly recommend checking them out. They make all sorts of things like K-Motion tape, which if you guys know what that is, it's basically this tape which is copper infused. And this is too actually. It's copper infused, which reduces pain and speeds up electrolyte production. So I think that's super cool. And this stuff is a must have, in my opinion, in every bowler's kind of thing, depending on your feel, at least. Next up, we got a towel, which is pretty straightforward. Um, and with the towel is also the chamois, these two, these two. Uh, now these are different and the, there are certain situations in which I will use either or. So I'll kind of get into that here. Just open them up. All right, so the differences in these are really when you want to use them. In my opinion, I prefer when I'm bowling and just want to get some like oil off of every shot. Uh, that's where this guy comes in for me. Uh, it's super small, easy to kind of like just hold in your hand, whatever, where this is kind of kind of bigger, you can't as easily move around, whatever like that. And that's the chamois. And then getting into this, this guy, you really want to use a towel when you're cleaning your ball. So if you're like before, it's always going to be before competition because cleaning isn't legal um, during. So it's going to be like in practice or whatever. But if you have like, or on a ball spinner, a ball spinner. So if you're kind of going out and you're kind of like, got like your polish on or just like your regular clean um, then this is much better since it is bigger and it has a much more absorbent side whereas this is kind of not as absorbent so that's kind of this, this is great so and if you're using it on the ball spinner then it's it's much easier because it covers more space and you can just kind of get your polish or whatever off of there much easier with this than this uh, so that's that so the final thing out of all the stuff I got is the Motive Power Gel Cleaner. This stuff is fantastic. This is just normal ball cleaner. This isn't a polish or anything like that. Um, but in my opinion, what separates this from the rest of the cleaners out there, like Powerhouse and like Tacum and stuff like that, is this stuff right here is not very absorbent, which is very good because it helps clean much, much better. And that's always good, you know. So uh, if you're using this on a, on a, on a spinner, it, you really, it, it's only gonna come off when you like really try and just work it off of there. It doesn't, like if you just spray it on there, it'll sit for hours. It doesn't absorb into anything, which is very, very helpful when you clean because if it's absorbing in there, then it's not doing a very good job of cleaning. 